Hey everyone, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. My name is Vishwadeep, and I welcome you all on PW Gatewala channel. Career is very important aspect of our life, just because from now onwards, maybe 30 years, 40 years, sometimes 20, 25 years, you will have to spend for this particular thing majority of time every day. Yes, that much important it is. It is gonna be your identity, not 100%, but yes, it is gonna be your identity just because you will introduce yourself with that kind of career. I am this, I am doctor, I am that, I am a researcher or something like this. So if that is important, very, very important that career is, then how exactly you will have to choose the perfect career for yourself. And that is very big dilemma among the engineering students, especially those who are preparing for gate. Just because after gate also, there are n number of opportunities that what you should do. You can go for MTech, you can go for PhD, you can go for PSUs, you can go for some other government organization jobs. And there are many such aspects. So here I am. I'll tell you in this particular session two things. The first thing, what all options you can unlock through gate examination. And the second thing, how wisely you will choose the best option for yourself. Okay. So at first place, if you see the biggest two options you can have is either you can go for MTech from top colleges after cracking gate examination or for the job. Job means in the PSUs or government jobs same gate examination only you'll have to write or similar kind of examination of their own like isro's exam or bath exam you'll have to attempt if not gate simple it is so what i'll have to choose sir mtech or psu job it's totally simple up to you it is see i'll tell you the you know benefits of doing this first thing you will have a big college name and the tag which will help you throughout your career just because as soon as you will go into the industry wherever you are going you can introduce yourself with your resume i am mtech from iisc bangalore or iit bombay or something like that so that will become your tag for your rest of the career first benefit second benefit learning masters is definitely having or being master in some kind of knowledge so you will definitely have great knowledge you will become master of one field so knowledge increment third thing is a community you will have a community of 60 70 students in your batch then your junior and your senior and professor you will have a big community of the people who will go out of the college or professors will be there in the college and you will have connections with them whatever work in the research or in the industry you will have that community will always help you fourth thing is job in mnc which is the most important part for all of you so if all the students are thinking about sir after mtech what big money boss big money and it's not about the early job the first salary it's about the projection when you talk about the projection projection means once you start the job let's say from here 20 lakh or 35 lakh or 40 lakh the projection is always up 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 and up growing just because after masters your attitude aptitude learning knowledge and problem solving increase like anything improve like anything and once you will reach to that level of course during your job you will go high and high and high your growth projection will be very very steep so after five years down the line or after 10 years down the line in the industry you will be earning great you will be reaching to the top level now this is the benefit of course so if you start let's say with 20 lakh 25 lakhs you can reach to one crore very quickly maybe within five years or four years or if you are starting with 50 lakhs you can reach to one and a half crore two crore easily within just a time span of four to five years now of course there will be pressure of course there will be you know technology change like now this era has completely changed and going towards AI. So you'll have to learn a lot of things during the job. But still, if you are looking for, you know, quick promotions and great money, this is something you can go for. Now let's talk about government jobs. Government jobs, starting salaries will be really good. Lot of benefits. Benefits means uh, insurance and many other things are there. Government job benefits. And the most important part is 
we don't have any layoff problem over here yes very very rarest of rare chances if you are having you know troubles or you are doing such kind of work which is violating their norms then only otherwise it's totally fine so if you want to have government job starting salary is good second thing direct job after btech only no mtech or studies further third thing of course lot of government job benefits which employees get and the fourth thing is peace of mind security job security is there but job for security there yes but on the contrary your job growth projection will not be as high as here after five year or ten year you will be having not very big difference from the first salary to the next salary for sure just because psus are not giving enough or really great number of increments sometimes some you know eighth pay or say ninth pay tenth pay eleventh pay commission comes after a few years or some five ten years then definitely a significant growth can be visible but still the growth projection as compared to after mtech in mnc jobs here is little less of course so after 10 years you might be you know having a comparison with your peers who were there along with you having the same kind of you know uh, placements or same kind of rank in gate examination you can have a big comparison of just because the salary difference will be surely gonna be more so here job security is there but the problem of projection growth projection if you want more money big money quick promotions good work then you can go for here if you want to have secure job no tension lifelong easiness then you can go for this now it's up to you we do have one more solution that solution is what you can initially go for government jobs and after that two three four years working into that you can switch to mnc's possible definitely possible visa versa second thing is also there you go initially for mtech after mtech you try to enter into these jobs once if you like it psu jobs etc be there for some time if not then again switch to mnc just because you will have mtech so there are multiple such kind of a thing you don't have to stick on to single thing that only mtech you will do and you will always be into mncs or private companies you can go to government jobs but if you start your job with mncs and you work for four five years your age has gone 28 30 or something past that it will be very very hard to enter into government jobs later on lateral entry is very difficult just because jobs are very very less and those are internally filled means through promotions of those people who are still working from there so if you want to try government jobs for a few years initially you can do that immediately after btech or after mtech now let's talk about what all other benefits you can have after the gate examination of course post graduation admission which is phd also if you are interested in research you can directly go for phd in the iits nits iisc through gate score after btech write the gate examination you can directly get the direct phd option then psu recruitments as i already told you there are two types of psu recruitments one through gate write the gate examination through gate score you apply if your gate score is below the their cutoff rank they'll be calling you for interview interview you crack and you are getting a job second thing is similar to gate exam they conduct their own examination some psus and some government or bodies are conducting their own examination once you crack that examination they'll call for interview if you crack interview you get the job similar kind of gate examination only the examination will be but psu recruitment is also through that of course the scholarships are there if you are going for mtech 12400 is the current scholarship every month you're gonna get and uh, if you are going for phd 28000 rupees per month private jobs and research roles are also there after gate examination but little difficult to get now just because uh, masters are more preferred for the research role if you don't have research experience till now okay benefits as i already told you if you go for ms mtech phd courses through gate examination top colleges are there top universities are there and especially for all the branches nowadays lot of special branches are opening 
डे बाय डे ईयर बाय ईयर एंड दोज लॉट ऑफ ब्रांचेस आर इंटरडिसिप्लिनरी ब्रांचेस लाइक इफ यू आर फ्रॉम मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फॉर मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग यू हैव मैकेनिकल एम टेक यस बट अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट यू हैव स्मार्ट मोबिलिटी ऑप्शन you have robotics option if you are from electronics you have communication vlsi you have uh, digital signal processing you have artificial intelligence and there are so many such kind of options if you are from civil engineering geotech is there structures is there water resources transportation so many mtech variations are there so that you can have lot of options for computer science number of opportunities are even more and more and more too many computer science cyber security ml ai you know and there are so many computing math and computing and there are so many such kind of things so many so you can have too much too much number of opportunities for mtech phd and ms of course psu jobs psus and government bodies like npcil bark iocl nhai and so many other bodies are giving you jobs through gate or similar kind of examination then you have scientific jobs in drdo isro bark and so many airport authority and you have jobs in intelligence bureau and lot of jobs now coming which are engineering level job in banks also in computer science especially yes like sbi union bank punjab national bank these banks are hiring the engineers for their computer science related problems just because all the banks are now having a lot of tech going on in their you know internet banking and in their banks so if they are using the technology softwares they are using the apps of course they will need software engineers to maintain it or having their problem solved that's why they are hiring so many in computer science especially nowadays they are hiring so many especially the security engineers so those security engineers getting really good payment in those banks and of course those are like government banks and private banks everywhere you are getting the job of what same software engineer kind of a job then you have aict scholarship which is 12400 for mtech and if you are going for phd junior research fellow 37000 senior research fellow 42000 if you are research associate 58000 research associate 2 associate 2 61367000 so you can get you know a good monthly stipend if you are going for phd or mtech then you have fellowship programs in iims which is nothing but phd programs and through that gate examination itself you can get admission into it yes in iims fellowship programs are there you can get admission into it through gate examination and you can do a phd over there okay one more option is there there is a a particular mba in iisc bangalore which is one of the most most popular mba course in india among iims courses also why just because that particular course because that particular course is best in terms of return of investment fees is less placements are amazing and that also gives you opportunity to get admission into it through gate examination you crack the gate examination they'll call you for the interview you crack it and you can get admission into mba after that so those options are also available for you guys then you have some foreign universities which can give you admission in mtech research or ms you call it as you have nus and ntu these two universities are un- under top 50 universities of world which are in singapore then you have in munich germany technical university of munich then rwth hn university is there so in germany and singapore some universities in switzerland also can allow you to go for ms through gate score and they don't you know have requirement of very high gate score little moderate around 90 95 percentile uh, gate score is also enough like if let's say 60000 students have written gate examination last year in mechanical and if you have 90 percentile which means what which means you are in top 10% top 10% means 6 600 a uh, 
टेन परसेंट इज सिक्सटी टू हंड्रेड यस आफ्टर अमंग सिक्सटी टू थाउजेंड स्टूडेंट्स इफ यू आर इन टॉप सिक्स थाउजेंड देन यू मे हैव अ चांस टू गेट इन टू दोज यूनिवर्सिटीज सो दिस रैंक यू नो इज वेरी ह्यूज वेरी लो एज कंपेयर टू इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज इन सिक्स थाउजेंड इंडियन यूनिवर्सिटीज यू डोंट गेट एनी थिंग बट देयर मे बी अ चांस इफ यू कैन हैव दोज रैंक एंड यू कैन गो फॉर दीज एम टेक रिसर्च और एम एस ऑल्सो देन इन बैंकिंग सेक्टर एज आई वॉज टेलिंग यू आई टी ऑफिसर स्पेशलिस्ट ऑफिसर असिस्टेंट मैनेजर आई टी दीज ऑल ऑप्शन आर देयर ऑफ कंप्यूटर साइंस स्टूडेंट स्पेशली जस्ट बिकॉज एज आई टोल्ड यू इन बैंकिंग सेक्टर लॉट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी दे आर यूजिंग सो दे नीड स्पेशलिस्ट ऑफिसर्स और आई टी ऑफिसर्स सो दैट दे कैन हैव देयर ऑपरेशन नॉर्मली डन विदाउट एनी हैसल एंड ऑफकोर्स बैंक आर हैविंग वेरी क्रिटिकल ऑपरेशन ट्रांजेक्शन टू बी डन सो दे नीड एक्सपर्ट्स ऑफकोर्स दे आर ओके टू पे मनी ऑल्सो देन वी हैव प्रोजेक्ट असिस्टेंट ऑप्शन ऑल्सो इन सो मेनी रिसर्च लैब्स एन आई टीज आई आई टीज एंड आई आई एम्स एंड एवरीवेयर सो इफ यू गो फॉर इट यू कैन गेट अप टू Around thirty thousand per month stipend for the research assistant, also or project assistant, also. There were few students who were connected with me. They got an opportunity to work with ISRO, and in some IITs, they told us, "Sir, we were getting thirty thousand per month as research assistant, and if your work was good." professor will convert you either in mtech research or in phd if you were willing to do that too so you will have a degree also later on if your work is really good so these were the opportunity but as in the starting i told you you guys will have to choose one option for your own career crack gate examination have focus on one career option don't choose that whatever i'll get i'll take it no just choose one as your primary option and go for it like a kill that kill that particular option for yourself so that you will be happiest person to achieve it with the best possible efforts i wish you all good luck for your career and your gate exam preparation later on for your gate examination keep listening to these kind of videos and if you want further more queries or questions to be answered or if you want any kind of special session from us please drop in the comment box your comments and we will try to bring solutions and such kind of sessions for those kind of problems also till then have a great day happy learning bye bye